Hello everybody, how are you doing? This is Lily here from, you guessed it, YB Limited, all right? Now listen, before we go any further, what I need you to do, okay, is go over to Instagram after you finish watching this, okay? Go right on over to Instagram and follow me on Instagram at YB Limited underscore official, all right? That's the letter Y, the letter B, the word limited, underscore official. I always get that confusing, okay? The letter Y, the letter B, the word limited, underscore official, all right? That is on Instagram. If you want to follow me on Facebook, it is just simply YB Limited, okay? Now, I get tons and tons and tons of requests for makeup videos, okay? And I've done a lot of live videos, but what I'm going to start doing is doing more exclusive videos to put here on YouTube, okay? That way I can just kind of break down things piece by piece, um, how to achieve certain things. Because makeup is, it can be overwhelming, I understand it. I didn't learn all of the stuff that I learned overnight, but I am self-taught, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go through some of my comments first, okay? Because I put out a question on Facebook that said, all right, it said, if I could teach you one thing about makeup, what would it be? And I received quite a few comments. A lot of people said everything. Um, and one person actually said confidence. Confidence does not come from makeup, okay? It comes from the inside out. The makeup enhances it. And I actually will be doing a lot of videos about confidence because that's really, really big. Um, and then someone said eyeshadow. Um, another person says how to conceal, prop, properly use concealer. Um, and one person said brows. You know what? Eyebrows is something that I get a lot. So I think for today's tutorial, what I'm going to do is go over eyebrows, okay? Now, one of the things that I notice is that people let fear hold them back from learning. That's usually what it is. I teach a lot of classes. I teach a lot of one-on-one -on -one classes and I also teach classes and groups. And what I find is people allow fear to hold them back. They're always afraid of making mistakes. So what I like to do is teach them that they have a best friend in makeup, okay? And I'm about to introduce you all to your best friend. This person, this this particular product is going to be your best friend. It doesn't have to be a particular brand or anything like that, as long as it's the right shade. And your best friend is going to be what? Concealer. All right. Now, this particular concealer is about three dollars. In the beauty supply store, you can get it at any beauty supply store in America that I know of. You can also get it online. This is Pro LA Girl Concealer. This is really popular. So popular that this concealer used to be like $1.99. But then people started putting it all on their videos and stuff like that. So then, you know, when the prices go up. All right. So, uh, this particular eyebrow pencil that I got. This is like a just a simple eyebrow pencil that I got from the beauty supply store. I paid like $1.99 for it. I wish I was getting the price tag on so you can see. And I'm going to use um, for this look I'm going to use a flat brush. Okay. So it's a flat brush like this. Okay. And let's see. A beauty blender. Yeah. I'm going to use my beauty blender. And oh you want to have like a brush for your eyebrows as well, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to purposely make a mistake so I can show you why making a mistake, making a mistake is not scary, okay? So do not be afraid of making mistakes. That's how you're going to learn. Actually, some of my best tricks I learned by making mistakes, okay? First thing you're going to do, some people do their brows before they do their makeup. Some people do it after. That's another question that I get. Do I need to do them first? Do I need to do them last? It really doesn't matter, okay? Well, I'll be limited. All right, you're gonna take your brush um, either side and kind of comb the hairs up, okay? All right, see that? Just want them all to go in the same direction, all right? Then you're gonna take your pencil 
and you're going to, there's a bone here. Now, God gave you that bone. Okay, that's where it came from. It's a bone right here. That is the bone that you're going to follow. That is the shape that of the brow that you're going to use right here. Okay? Right? And what I like to do is I like to start at the top part. The highest point of the arch. Right? And I like to follow that bone. And then bring it on down. Now you can have more pressure towards the tail. From the arch to the tail, you can have more pressure and it could be a little darker. I'm using a dark brown color. Very few people have to use black, okay? And then what I do is, from that point, from the highest point of the arch on back, I start getting a little lighter. Okay, I get a little bit lighter with the brush. You see, I'm barely touching down on it. And I'm not brush, it's a pencil. And I'm bringing the pencil up with the hairs of the brow. Okay, see that? Now, that one was done, you know, pretty much perfectly. Now, on this side, I'm going to purposely mess up, all right? So I'm gonna pretend like I'm a newbie and I'm gonna press down real hard and I'm gonna go like that. Now usually when people do that, they get scared, they wanna run, they wanna hide, they wanna get a pillow and put it over their face. I be like, girl, chill out, cause you got a best friend named Concealer that's gonna take care of all that, okay? So they gonna make it too thick, okay? They gonna, do all this, all that, okay? And they're like, oh my God, I messed it up. What am I, what am I doing? Oh my God. And I'm like, shut up, girl. Okay, keep going, all right? So then just keep getting lighter, going back, taking the hairs and going up, okay? Now, you see? One is thicker than the other. It's okay, because this is when your best friend is gonna come in. You're gonna take your concealer, and this acts, ooh, didn't need for that to happen. Okay, so a little bit of water, get the water out first, you don't need that part. And what you're gonna do is, you don't want too much, okay? So I just want a little bit. If it's too much, I'm just gonna put it on the back of my hand and use it later. I'm actually using a concealer that's a couple shades lighter than my skin because I'm going to also double this as an eyeshadow primer and a highlight for my brow bone, okay? Now, when I do my brows without doing a full face of makeup, I try to stick with a concealer that's closer to my skin color because I know you see those girls walking around with that lightness underneath their brows and then they ain't got nothing to blend it in. Like, girl, where you gonna, where you blending that in? That's like me wearing a track in my head. Where, where you blending, where, where the blended, where's that coming from? Where's that going? Makes no sense, all right? But when you have a full face of makeup on, you can do a couple shades lighter because you're gonna put eyeshadow on top of it and you're gonna be using the same color to highlight your T-zone area anyway, okay? So let's go ahead and thin this thing out. You're just going to take, and this has a brush on it. If it doesn't, you will use this brush right here, which I'll do in the other eye. This one already has a brush on it. So you're just going to erase. Your mistake. Voila. And you can thin it out just like that. Okay. On the other eye, see now that you got your highlight there, you can use your brush 
and that little bit that we put on the back of our hand. And just don't erase anything from here. Just highlight the brown, the brow bone, so that it matches. And I like to drag it down. Take this brush and drag this down. Because then the brush really doesn't have any product on me, only any extra product on it. And then what I do is I take my beauty blender that's gonna be damp, not dripping wet, okay, but damp, and you're just gonna blend it in. makeup artists that I follow are not YouTubers. They are actual makeup artists. And that's what I want to let you all know. I, I'm new to all like teaching this on YouTube because most YouTubers are YouTubers. This is what they do for a living. Okay. Um, and most YouTubers are out here to sell you products. I'm not here to sell you products. I just want to teach you how to do makeup. Okay. I put a little bit of concealer there. So I'm just going to take a Call and put a line back there. Okay. And this one a little bit. Boom. And then you will put your eyeshadow on top of your concealer because your concealer acts as a base. And just like that, voila, you've got new brows.